I'm sure that you all know that if you middle click in a web browser, it'll enable auto scrolling. Wait, you thought you couldn't do that on Linux? It's actually really, really easy and I have no idea how so many people just don't know this actually exists. So in Firefox, you go into your settings, you go to general, you scroll down to the browsing section, and there's literally just an option to toggle it. And it just, it just works. Why it's not enabled by default, I have no idea, but it is what it is. Sadly, on the Chromium side, it's not as easy. Not to say it's difficult, it's just not as easy as toggling something in your settings. All you need to do is install an extension. It works perfectly in Brave, in base Chromium, and probably most other Chromium forks as well, but I can't guarantee every single one. Now, one thing to keep in mind is when you are using this extension, it won't work on every single page. So for whatever reason, extensions don't run on the extension store. So right here, I can't use it, but it is perfectly installed. So I don't know why it's like that. Chromium's always been like that. Also, it doesn't work inside of PDFs, which is one place where you're likely going to actually want to use it. But middle mouse click in your browser has a bunch of other useful features as well. Let's say I have a link here and I want to go and open it up in a new tab. Normally what I'd do is I'd go and right click on the link, click open link in a new tab. And the same thing is true over on the Chromium side as well. It's just laid out slightly differently. What I can do instead is just middle mouse click on the link. And that works on both Chromium and also Firefox. But let's say I'm done with a page and I want to go and close it. Normally what you would do is you'd go up to your tab bar, you'd go and like click on the X and have to like work out exactly where to place your mouse, but that's kind of annoying. Something easier to do is just middle click anywhere on the tab and it's going to go and close. Once again, that works in both Chromium and also Firefox. Now for the record, if you have the tab open, pressing Control W is going to do the exact same thing. The one problem though, is you actually need to have the tab open. Let's say you accidentally opened a tab that you didn't mean to actually open, the middle mouse click is a little bit easier. Now the next thing is only available inside of Firefox, but I would love to see it inside of Chromium. Let's say I want to go and open up a new tab. Obviously, I could go and press Control T, that works perfectly fine, or I could go and click on the plus icon, also does exactly what we want. But if I want to do this with my middle mouse, middle mouse clicking in any of the empty space on the tab bar will also open up a new tab. Over to the Chromium side though, something interesting happens when you click on the scroll bar. Rather than jumping directly to that location, what it does is does this like page down or page up motion and eventually gets to that spot. Over on Firefox though, if you go and click on the scroll bar, it instantly jumps you to that spot. Now, if you want to go and replicate that behavior over in Chromium, that is done with the middle mouse button. But that doesn't just happen inside of Chromium, the exact same thing also happens in Electron. And once again, middle mouse clicking on the scroll bar is going to jump you to that location. Everything we've talked about up until this point obviously works on Linux, but also works over on Windows and Mac OS as well. This last thing though is a Linux exclusive, and from my understanding, someone correct me if I'm wrong here, only works under Xorg and won't work under Wayland. That is, that you can actually paste text by using your middle mouse, but not the text you typically expect to paste. Also, this isn't a feature of the web browsers, this is a feature of the Xorg display server itself. Now, if you didn't know, Xorg makes use of three clipboards. Why there are three? I honestly couldn't tell you, it's got to be some weird legacy reason, because only two of them are ever actually used. I'll start with the clipboard because this is the one that most people understand. The clipboard is what you would normally think of as the clipboard. If I go and highlight some text and do a copy operation, or I go and copy an image, anything like that, this is where that data is actually being stored. The secondary, the secondary does basically nothing at this point. Think of it just as like a spare buffer, but primary, primary is a bit different. If I go and highlight some text, that text I have highlighted actually gets stored in the primary buffer. So let's do a test then. Let's say I highlight this text right here and I press Control C 
and then I go and highlight this text right here, but I don't control C. So now if I go and do a control V over here, as we can see, it's gone and pasted the text we actually copied. But if I go and use my middle mouse instead, it's just doing the part we have highlighted. By making use of this effectively, Basically, it gives you access to two separate buffers without having to go and use a separate application that manages your clipboard. Plenty of those do exist, and a lot of them are incredibly useful, but this is something built directly into Xorg, is going to integrate with everything perfectly fine, for the most part. A couple of applications don't play nicely with the separate clipboards, but for the most part, everything is going to work, especially the graphical applications. Now, I just want to say something that I know that nobody except, like, the three people who are going to comment about it actually care about. I know that this is technically not the middle mouse button. What it actually is, is mouse button 2. So, the reason why we have mouse button 1, 2, and 3 is because in the past, it was fairly common to see a three-button mouse. Nowadays, though, that second button has been replaced with a scroll wheel, but we still make use of that input function. It's just in a different method now. So if you're not using a mouse and you're instead using a pen or maybe a trackball or a touchpad or any other sort of input device like that, you might not have a middle mouse button, but you have something bound to mouse button 2, allowing you to do all of the exact same functions. If you don't know what is bound to mouse button 2, I recommend going using a tool like XEV, which will print out every single button that you're pressing. The middle mouse button's always been a weird one for me because besides scrolling, I never really used it, but it turns out that it actually has some pretty useful actions that I probably should have been making use of this entire time. So if you're not using your middle mouse button, give it a shot. See if some of those actions are actually useful for you, and you'll also realize that some of the stuff in Firefox actually exists in other GUI applications as well. A lot of open source stuff sort of handle tabs the exact same way. So that's going to be it for me then. If you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to go and support Support the channel and become one of these amazing people over here. Go check out my Patreon scribes, generally bear pay linked in the description down below. I've also got a podcast called Tech Over T available basically anywhere. I'm doing my old outro again. I've got gaming channel, Brody Robertson plays. That's gonna be it for me, and I'm out.